may look like a different person to you. If that's the case, I apologize. But I am now a week older. We haven't talked in the camera for a week because we've been very sick. We've just been holed up in this bay for like a week, not doing anything. Just sick as hell. I feel bad for Kimmy because she's got some permanent damage. You see her face? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, we're finally leaving this bay. We're going down to Capos to talk to the yard and see what's down there. It rained really hard yesterday night, one, two days ago, and uh, it's like washed away the whole damn country's worth of film and, and grime into the water. Four knots. We've got one hour to go, and we're still motoring. I'm not very impressed with the wind quality in most regions. Cause when you're beside me, I know we make it past the storm. Storm. Now we should fight it. We just have to wait until it's gone. right behind us three minutes before we can drop anchor right there and it's getting dark and we don't really know this is our first time here so I'm a little nervous there's a wave right here breaking We made it to Marina Pace Vela, which is Sailfish Marina, last night. Man, I'm glad we I'm glad we anchored while it was still light out because there's a big breaking wave over here. I don't know if you can see it, but it's right there. This is the retaining wall for the marina. This is all the marina. This is all the town here, and uh, we're a lot closer to that wave than it looks. Here's all the boats moored here on moorings. The girl is gonna call the marina now and see if they have a water taxi so we can get in because our dinghy has a rip. Marina Pesvela, Marina Pesvela. Eso es el velero zingaro. Adelante, eso es Marina Pesvela. Long story short, Marina Pesvela did not have their own water taxi service. Luckily enough, we anchored right in the middle of the shipping lane so that we were just able to wave somebody down. What's going on? My name is Jaime. My name is Kim. What we didn't realize at the time was that it was the weekend and the office in the marina was closed. So this little excursion here was a complete waste of time. And now guess how we spend our weekend in Kepos. We're actually going to the marina right now. The dinghy is still pretty messed up. Let's see how it's gonna, if it's gonna bring us there. I'm gonna have my fingers crossed. 
there's got to be something stuck in one of the I took the main jet out and it's clean but it's not getting enough gas through it so we're going at like 0.1 knots the whole way but hopefully it'll be powerful enough to get us there we got paddles So we just got done, like this whole f***ing trip for the last month has come to this culmination point and we just got told that we can't pull out here without insurance. We don't have insurance because the boat is old and it's over 30 years old and it's home built. Nobody will give us insurance on it. I've tried four different f***ing places. You just met Hangry James. If you ever see him behave like this, Bring him to the next restaurant ASAP. Hey, where are we? Kipos. You like it here? Yeah, it's a sweet little town. I like it. A lot of nice houses. People are very friendly. Like all over Costa Rica, we've, had, we've met so many nice people already. Everybody's very helpful and chill. Ooh, they have good beer? No, they don't. Bavaria Dark. So we're now waiting that the uh, guy from the insurance company is coming back from his lunch break. See if we can get insurance so that we can actually get it hold out. Today's conclusion? Don't conclude things. <laughs> uh, it's a lot of bureaucracy. Bureaucracy. That's, yeah, that's it. Bureaucracy going on here in Costa Rica. We have to get an MOPD, with, which is something else in a temporarily no importation. No idea what it is. But it's not an importation either. It's the permission to go into a marina in Costa Rica. But you can't get it from the marina. You actually have to go to get it from the port captain. And we have not heard of anything like that when we check No, we here. can't get it from the port captain. We have to go to San Jose. Oh. and register our boat. Yeah, but, but the lady from the port captain has something to do with it. We should probably that's visit the one her. we should visit. You want to visit that right now? Apparently so we yeah. need a piece of paper that we don't have. And we can't go into this marina without insurance. We can't get insurance without this piece of without paper. Without the piece of paper. So... We need to go talk to the port captain before we go, go to the boat. That's that now. Leaving Kepos for a fun day, which we deserve, if you ask me. Travel this paper, we're, we're waiting for emails. Who says that we can have fun while we're waiting, right? So we're right in front of the Manuel Antonio National Park here in Costa Rica. It's the smallest and also the one with the most diversity. And we're here because Charlie's chart said that there is great surf here and whoever gave us the charts even painted in there and stuff. And they're right. It looks good, a lot of waves and nobody's here, but a few days ago there's, there has been strong rain. And it's been the first rain of the season, so it washed every dirt, all the dirt of the whole country for six months. I washed in the ocean, and it still looks super dirty. It's nasty. So we're not gonna, we're not gonna jump in. We're gonna wait a few more days. It's really brown. Yeah. And Nolly does not look like that, so I think we're gonna pass today. James shouldn't get his knee infected. Yeah, I've got like an open wound still on my knee. See. Oh, me, no, it's let me okay. Pull it off. I gotta pull it off anyway. <laughs> look, I wanna see look. It. No, look. Those guys are having fun now. So, one of the arts to this is picking out anchorages. A lot, there's a lot of uh, good cruising guides on the subject, but um, anytime you, you get a piece of land like this, that the waves are coming from the other side and they kind of wrap around. This is a really, really protected bay. So we've got the anchor down now. Sorry I didn't show that, but you know, this just thrown it in. <laughs> and then uh, 
We're just waiting to see what the wind's gonna do. So what I do is I look up at the Windex, trying to see which way the wind's blowing. This is blowing almost directly on shore. So this is gonna blow us a little closer to shore because we have, we've got about 120 feet out in, in 20 feet of water. So that's six to one, which is plenty of scope. So we're, we've got this thing protecting us from the swell. The wind's pushing us about onto the beach and there's almost no surf right now. If it, if it ends up being a little surfy, we'll pull out a little bit, but we should be perfect right here. This is a great spot to, to anchor. And this is exactly where it said in the Serana guide to anchor. So we're gonna back up and set the anchor now. Okay, and then I'm gonna watch this. You see how it's coming out of the water? There we go. You'll hear these things creak. Yep. Okay, we're tight, full reverse. Now it should really set. So now we're at full back and and we're really set. You can really feel the boat stop, so you're good. We're about we're about two hundred meters off the beach. We're good. It's set. Nice job. Let's see what um Costa Rica has to offer. Yeah, let's swim in and uh walk up the beach, huh? Are you happy? Yeah. We would take you guys with us, but uh, we lost our GoPro and we're just not gonna be able to, so. Oh, 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 but we have Go a GoPro Common. Actually, we have more than a GoPro Common. We have a couple of them. Because our awesome Patreon, Tom Thompson, got us a GoPro. And and, and, and one of our fans is sending us an old GoPro 4, so we're gonna have a spare, which is amazing. Because we have all the batteries already and the case and everything for a GoPro yeah. 4, so it's yeah. gonna be awesome. I'm, we're blessed, man. This is pretty, it's pretty neat. Thank you so much. All right. Proof the videos, especially. So. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. All right. We'll talk to you in a minute. We'll tell you how it is in uh, Manuel Antonio State Park. So we just swam onto the beach to um, to do a yoga session, which we had planned for. Since I'm on the boat, we were always like, yeah, we're gonna start the yoga and we're gonna be so slim, trim and racy. And today, we actually swam in into the beautiful Manuel Antonio Park and there was a ranger on the beach that kicked us out and made us swim all the way back. And it's not that far, that's kind of far. Uh, so yeah, plans change, we're gonna drink beer now. We're gonna go into town. We got the thing in the water, and yeah, I mean it's not too bad. We're, we're gonna try again tomorrow. It was difficult. We risked life, limb, the dinghy, the motor, meter high waves, the surf at night, the police, the theft but the mission was successful. Don't ever take cookies for granted, people. You do not know what we have to go through for get this. To get this, for get this, for get this. Oh, oh fuck. We had a good day today, huh? Yeah. We went to a park, we saw some monkeys, we saw some birds. We didn't see any birds I monkeys. saw a bird. Wow. And we got to surf. I messed my hand up. And now there's a lightning storm coming, so we're we're trying to hurry to get back to the anchorage that we're supposed to pay eight dollars for in the city on the other side of that hill. <laughs> we'll see about that. They literally gave us a bank account number and said, go to a town four miles away and deposit eight dollars into this bank account. Okay. Then come back. Show us the receipt, and then there you can anchor. Okay. I remember when I remember when I lost my mind. Hey guys, hope you liked the episode. That's it for this one, but on the next, we say goodbye to Kimmy as she goes home to Berlin for a month. I take the boom off the boat and have it welded. We say hello to Steven, one of our patrons, who's down on the boat for a week. 
he brings me a big bag of goodies. When you're out there, out there, yeah, I was out. And we do a little work on the boat before the 75 mile sail south. But it wouldn't because I didn't know enough. To the World Heritage Site of Isla del Cano. I didn't know too much. Make me crazy. Yeah!